so now we have installed uh, the file search required for a NIM server that's nim.master and nim.spot now we are going to configure this server as a NIM server so when you configure this server there will be certain demons added to the server and they will start running and uh, there will be a configuration file that is slash etc slash name info and uh, certain objects and object classes are added into the ODM and uh, while you configure the NIM server for the first time um, it will create a LPP source and spot in the NIM, ma NIM master server so you had to insert your CD or DVD of basic operating system my machine is uh, running on a AIX 5.3 TL5 so I have inserted the DVD of uh, AX 5.3 TL5 now I am going to configure this server as a NIMS master server you have multiple ways to configure a NIMS server you can use a command you can use a uh, a script you can use smitty uh, here I am using smitty that's a smitty space name over here you had to select the first menu item that is configure the name environment and then the first menu item configure a basic name environment here you got to select the, mm, the primary interface of your name master server that is EN0 if you have multiple interfaces you select whichever you are going to use for the NIM environment then comes the input device for installation images from where you want to copy the uh, file sets we are going to copy it from the CD so I put the CD0 and the LPP source name here I have put the AX53 TL5 CD so I'm just changing the name for the LPP source that's for easier identification so next comes the LPP source directory where you want to uh, create LPP source directory I want to create it under export LPP source and uh, if it's just a directory then the file system will be copied to your root file system that will uh, you know uh, fill your file system so uh, we are going to create a new file system here you have the options create new file system for LPP source yes and uh, file system size uh, for each LPP source you need to have uh, somewhere around 3 GB and uh, you add some 10 percent as a buffer space so let's make it as uh, 3500 MB that's three, around 3.5 GB and where you want to create a file system if you have a separate volume group like a name VG you can mention that in my case I don't have any other VG so I just put root VG and here comes the spot and uh, I'm going to change the name of the spot and uh, the directory is export spot and again do you want to create a new file system I say S and what should be the size um, for a spot you need to have at least 500 MB okay, the requirement for a spot is 500 MB space uh, plus you add some buffer space let's make it as 3, 5, uh, 650 MB now volume group again root VG and this is for disk loss and data loss so you can just ignore these questions and uh, if you want to create uh, system bundles boss INST data resource by default this will be as just leave it as it is and if you want to add uh, uh, machines to the name database you can mention over here using a definition file normally we don't do it we do it uh, later on and this is the final question suppose if this configuration gets failed in between uh, what will happen you have to remove whatever the changes has uh, done but if you say yes if if any part of this operation fails 
uh, it will remove all the newly added new NIM definitions and file system so it will be easy to start from scratch you don't have to do any backout manually the backout will be done automatically so after answering all the questions just press enter now you can see the NIM master is getting initialized uh, basically it will add uh, two subsystems to demonstrate the system NIMD and NIM ACES and, uh, and then the, the demons will get started then it will check for the available space for the new file systems uh, if the space is available in the volume group then it will create the file systems so first we it's creating a export and LPP source and the file system is created and you can even see it is mounted and you can see export for file system is created it is mounted and uh, now it is oh man something has happened let me fix the issue okay the issue was the CD was already mounted so I have unmounted it and uh, let us try it again Okay, now all the file systems are recreated and uh, it is preparing to copy the install images. So first of all it will copy the, it will create the LPP source uh, by copying all the file sets from the CD to the LPP source directory and then uh, it will create a spot. Uh, for creating a spot the input device is LPP source and not the CD. So if you have a CD uh, if you have the uh, basic operating system CD you can create a LPP source and after creating the LPP source you can create a spot using that particular LPP source this is how it goes and uh, for doing all these things you need to have at least 512 MB of RAM and uh, I got only 512 MB so it will take pretty long time and if you got somewhere around 1 or 2 GB then you know it will be somewhat faster so for my system uh, NIM configuration will take at least uh, two hours so uh, once it gets completed you will get uh, over here you will see the OK then you can come out and verify the NIM configuration by this uh, we have completed NIM master server configuration